So Black Friday shopping seems okay. Uh, granted, one of the issues here is that a lot of this shopping, a lot of this revenue is going to just a couple of places. Yes. There ain't no mom yeah. and pop shop over here. There ain't no small businesses being supported here for the most part. Mm -hmm. I don't know where you bought your hats from. Uh, definitely not a mom and pop. Not a mom no. and pop shop. It's, I mean, it's difficult. And so speaking to that same tune, Amazon hiring spree, they've added 1,400 workers per day. Wow. 1,400 workers per day in 2020. What? 1,400 workers. How do you wow. imagine, Will, hiring at that scale, at that pace? Mm -hmm. And I mean, like what percentage of people you interview do you actually hire? Do you, see, do you know what I'm saying? At yeah. 1,400 per day, you got to be running 5,000 interviews a day. Yeah, yeah. The and scale of Amazon, absolutely shocking. So some of those are seasonal workers, including around 100,000, but 400,000 permanent hires. This means that the company has nearly doubled in size in the last year. Doubled in size in the last year? And it was already big. They already had more than half a million employees. They had 647,000 wow. employees hmm. in the fourth quarter of 2019. And then they add another, you know, 500,000. Oh, 1.25 million global. Oh, I see. So they added 647,000 in the fourth quarter of 2019. Really? Is that That's what it says here. Oh. In the third quarter of 2020, Amazon had 1.25 million global employees, not including the additional 100,000 seasonal oh. hires, compared with the company's 647,000 global employees in the fourth quarter of 2019. So that's the doubling from 647 up to 1.25 million mm -hmm. since 2019. So, yeah. So they're going to take over the world very soon. I mean, it gets to a point where it starts to seem insane. Like, yeah. what about like, what about 10 million employees? Mm -hmm. 10 million employees. Everyone's just working there. This nation, friends, this family. nation will. Yeah. This the nation you and I live in, 35 million people. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Amazon is a nation. I don't know if you knew that. Uh, here's the thing. They're, they're pretty decent jobs. At least it seems so on paper. All Amazon positions have a $15 per hour minimum wage. And all full-time workers have access to health insurance, a 401k plan, 20 weeks paid parental leave, and other benefits. And the company also launched subsidized child care during the pandemic in May. I know people get upset. They get angry. Though. Mm. He's Bezos is so rich. He's a billionaire. Yeah. Tell me those are good that's a good job. He could easily pay I don't know, hundred dollars an hour or whatever. I, there's yeah. people always gonna yeah. say, say that kind of thing, but that's a lot of uh, job opportunities created by Amazon. And it does get complex though in your analysis of Amazon obviously goes in and finds tremendous efficiencies and therefore can use fewer people to do more. And so often what'll happen, you know, I was asking you about mom and pop. When you go to the local coffee shop, let's say it exists, the local coffee shop does business with the next door neighbor, does business with the next door neighbor. Yes. And isn't buying at scale. So they pay a little bit more. So they're a little less competitive, but there's, you know, there's more people involved potentially. This is the argument, by the way. Mm hmm. The same thing occurs for Walmart. They say Walmart goes into a town for every job they create, they get rid of two. I don't remember what the number is. Mm. But this idea that in the long run, you may end up with fewer jobs because of how smart and good Amazon is at getting productivity out of fewer people. Right. But in a time like this, in 2020, I don't know how nitpicky you can be about a company that's figured out this pandemic. Where would we all be right now? Yeah. Whether it's all these... We're talking about 600,000 people that needed a job, obviously, mm -hmm. and got one. Mm -hmm. Or if it's people like you and I, Will, that need that stuff to come to our front door yeah. because we're trying to do the thing and stay in and do whatever they're telling us to do. Yeah. I mean, hopefully there's no influx. Hopefully they kind of just stay consistent. So, you know, all the jobs kind of just stay. And there's no all jobs. Willie do is for all jobs. He's running for I, I he's running that. for office. Yeah. He's running like for that. office. 
uh, President of the United States, not an American citizen. However, he's running on I'll the promise of all I'll jobs all the best. time. All the jobs all the time. Everybody gets a job. Yes. Even the robots. <laughs> they all get jobs. Oh, I got a story about that coming up, actually. Okay.